Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Good morning. Got the cup of coffee, ready to rock and roll. I uh, got a great subscriber question. That question is, should I sell my assets like my gold and silver to pay down debt? It's a great question because I've been talking about the importance of being out of debt, especially when you go into a currency collapse. And also, uh, you know, because that's the big argument. Lots of people want to say, hey, no, get into massive debt and pay off those uh, uh, debts later on with highly you know, overinflated dollars. The problem is what people don't realize because they've read a story about a guy that did it in Germany during the Weimar Republic. What they don't realize is the amount of time during a hyperinflation that happens, the, uh, the amount of time it takes for a company or a government to start paying you higher wages because they go, oh crap, we got to do this because we have hyperinflation. All right. So that time gap from when it when the inflation starts to really ramp up into hyperinflation to the amount of time where you go, oh, hey, look, they just gave me a 20% raise, a 40% raise, a 100% raise. That's a huge gap of time. And in that amount of time, you may do a couple of things. Start having to default on your debt so they can start coming and foreclosing on your home, taking your car, things like that. And now because they possibly took your car, you can't get to work and you lost your job either because you couldn't show up or because uh, the company just uh, imploded because it also could not sell its goods because hyperinflation ramped up and all of a sudden, hey, nobody wants to buy TVs because they care more about how much the cost of food is, all right? So there's this huge time gap that a lot of people don't pay attention to. They hear this one rock star story about this guy that went and got into tons of debt. And that is gonna happen. There are gonna be a few people, but I'm telling you it's a few. And why is it a few? Because there are a few people that have a certain type of asset on their books that can weather a hyperinflation, which means they can still pay their bills and be solvent. So I think it is very important during these times to get out of debt, especially debt like credit card debt, where, I mean, you are at the whim of, or, you know, uh, adjustable rate mortgages, things like that, where you are at the whim of when the interest rates flow up and when hyperinflation starts uh, to bolster the economy's, uh, the, the uh, country's purchasing power, every country runs to the interest rates and jacks up interest rates. You know, you've been living in a time where we have had absolutely historic, never seen before interest rates, zero and negative. We have lots and lots of negative debt out there. Sad thing is most people don't realize that negative debt is sitting in their pension funds in bonds. Um, so if you think of it this way, first off, I'm going to tell you if it was me, I would not sell my assets. I would go and get a second job because your assets are what you have right now. You have it right now. Unless you are facing a time where you can't pay your payments and there's no other way out, you have time, you have your, your energy, you have your mind right now and you need to put it to good work. So if you're in a situation where you have debts, but you also have assets, remember once that stuff is gone, once your assets are gone, you've just spent it on your debts. And remember your debts are, I'm going to be honest with you. This is a hard thing, but a lot of people need to hear this are bad decisions, right? A lot of people get into debt because they want to buy something they can't afford. If you don't have the cash to buy it, you shouldn't own it. Now in this world with the housing market, you have to get into debt. That is totally understandable. But when we're talking about a fancy car, when you had an older car that could get you to work, honestly, you shouldn't have gotten the new car. And, and the good thing is, is right now by hearing these words, and if you take this as good, solid advice, because this is how wealthy people became wealthy. They didn't, you know, drive around Ferraris that they couldn't afford, right? They had to build themselves up to get there by purchasing assets that paid for the Ferraris and paid for the jets and all of that kind of stuff. True, I do know some, some extremely broke, what you'd think of as multimillionaires because they don't own anything. But the, the facts are, um, you got to get there somehow. And so if you sell the good decisions you made to, you know, setting wealth aside the pay yourself first, but you now take it to go pay off the bad decisions. That is, that is a, I think in a bad decision. Okay. Unless you have injured yourself to where you can't go to work, but you have the ability to work extra and maybe not hang out with the friends right now, maybe not go on that extra vacation, but it's time to hustle and set money aside and pay that debt down. Yeah, uh, I would do that. Um, this isn't financial advice, of course, right? Because you, know, you got to say that every time now. It's just horrible. But, um, you know, the big thing is, is uh, you've already set aside that stuff. Now go and pay that debt off and just keep crushing it, okay? Don't miss payments. You don't want to get into that interest rate trap. Um, but I, that, that is what I would do. All right. 
literally this is the time to be hustling. This is the time to not be going on vacations, to not be doing anything extra if you have any debt. I'd be crushing it out. Now, if you have a house payment, that's totally different. You know, you have to live somewhere. You'd have to pay rent. If your house payment is the same as rent, you know, it's always good to, if you have the extra money to pay off your mortgage, that is awesome. But the facts are, uh, it, you know, you'd have to live somewhere. So I'm talking about high interest rate credit card debt, actually any credit card debt, uh, because it just completely destroys you if you don't make the uh, full pay, not the, you know, if you're just making minimum payments or you're not paying off your balance each month, you're getting destroyed in interest. Um, and then also adjustable rate mortgages. That's something that you, you need to look into. If you can get a fixed rate mortgage, that is so important right now. All right, guys, with that being said, I thank you so much. The Economic Ninja is out.